Hey everyone, it's Louise here from Miracles and Wonders Down Under and I am so lucky today to be at the Grand Chancellor Hotel and I am with Jane St Catherine whose blog Inspiring Women Who Travel is incredibly inspiring for women who travel. So I am going to just turn around, there's Jane there. Hi Louise. You might have already read Jane's, some of Jane's um, story in the Pebbles in the Pond anthology because that's where Jane and I first met. It is. it is. And that was a pretty wild journey that Jane had been on then. We both went over to Baltimore where we had our course with Christine Closer and then Jane continued on on some travels. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that journey for you? Sure. Well, the actual trip was, as was we were just meeting up for a week in Baltimore and I got had some frequent fly points so I thought, well, there's no point flying to Baltimore and back home again a week later. So I went home via... Um, um, where did I go? Venice, and then I took a train across to across the Swiss Alps and through Switzerland, Austria, and into um, Prague, and then I flew home via Istanbul, Dubai, and Hong Kong. And so, if that sounds a little bit daunting to some of you women out there, Jane has been working on a blog, which is to support other women who want to travel solo, solo, or with friends. Yeah, any sort of travel really. Any sort of travel to inspire you so that a trip of that kind of magnitude would not be so daunting. <laughs> so one of Jane's first journeys, do you want to tell us a little bit about your initial story from the Pebbles in the Pond book? Oh yeah, it's got nothing really to do with travel, but um, I, was, I bought a property with some other people and ended up being a total disaster. So what happened was that I almost ended up living on the street. Um, and then I just had to fight my way back out of that and build my money back up so that I could travel again. <laughs> and so I guess even in that, you were um, you know, looking at ways to become an entrepreneur, looking at other ways of making money to get yourself out of the kind of the mundane, because you've done a lot of um, crazy jobs, hey? I've done a lot of crazy jobs and I guess they were all leading towards the point where I could just have a base in the mountains and go travelling. So along the way I've um, driven 400 tonne dump trucks in the mine, um, been prawn trawling, I was a deckhand and cook on a prawn trawler which meant working basically about 22 hours a, a day <laughs> um, for a not very nice person and um, I was a governess on cattle stations in outback Queensland and um, I was a project manager with an overseas aid organisation travelling all around the Pacific Islands which I loved. Um, I've been a photographer travelling around outback Queensland photographing Aboriginal children in their homes which I also really, really loved. And so we were lucky enough this year with um, our internet secrets to be cruising around in Thailand where we got to go and I saw some of Jane's beautiful photos of the hill tribes in Thailand and some of the elephant places that we went to. Jane took some awesome photos and just of street scenes and random things in Thailand. So if you get onto her Facebook page, Inspiring Women Who Travel, you'll be able to like that and you'll find out more of the other upcoming projects she's got going on. Um, Jane also, um, she's reached her dream now really. She's got a little apartment in Threadbow and she's setting up more opportunities for her to be able to travel and part of that is really to support other people who want to travel. So if you've got any things you'd like to find out from her about, you know, ways you can get to have as many adventures as she had because I know even when she was talking about the experiences that she's had part of me goes oh I've had a little seed of a dream of that in me too mm -hmm. you know even the idea of driving a giant dump, dump truck it's like oh my gosh can you imagine having that on your resume it's that an must... adventure <laughs> yeah it's a, it must be a total adventure so <laughs> if it... opportunities thrown in <laughs> Absolutely, and I think that's probably where Jane's expertise is, is in looking at the different opportunities she's had from all different angles. So I encourage you to get in touch with her and um, keep a lookout. Maybe you'll find her on the Creating Calm Network one day because she's got a mad network <laughs> of amazing women who will inspire you to travel with a sense of confidence and safety. So enjoy your adventures and thanks for being with us today, Jane. Thank you, Louise. Thank you. And happy travelling.